Hi, welcome to week six of CNET 58. I wanted to make a short video and walk you through this week's lab. So let me share my screen and let me get to my VM. So the first part of the lab is, you know, connect to your ESXi server, and then we're going to clone our CentOS 8 dash parent to the CentOS 8 dash Samba. So just create a new VM, you know, clone it. Um, and one of the things you want to make sure is that it is on the VM network. So come down to your network adapter it only has one adapter and it should be on the VM network um, like this one is. Okay. So once you have that up and running, um, you're going to go to the VM, which I am here, and you're going to open a terminal. You're going to become root, which is this SU L. Put in your password. And again, it doesn't echo, it just looks like it's not doing anything, but it actually does take it there. And then the first thing we want to do is make sure that a service known as cockpit is turned on. So we're going to do system control enable dash dash now cockpit dash socket. And we'll hit enter. And it will create a new link there. And um, that's perfect there. And now we need our IP address. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. We can do IP add. And our IP address is right here. So I want you to make a note of that because we're going to need that later. So I'm just going to copy that into my um, clipboard. and. Once we're done with that, we can actually close this VM. Now, don't turn it off. Just close the window here. OK, so now um, we're going to do everything else from our browser on our host machine. So again, black background, that means I'm on my host machine. So I'm going to open another tab here, and I'm going to paste that um, number, which didn't come in, mine was 72.58. And if I go to this browser, let me double check that IP address. And dot twenty nine dot seventy two dot fifty eight. This site can't be reached. That's All right, so now we want to go to the website, 10.29.72.58, and it's on socket 9090. So we want to put in the IP address colon 9090. And this will open up a warning that it's not a self or that's a self signed certificate. We're going to continue to it. And you get the CentOS login. So here's where we put in our root and CNET 2021 exclamation point. And then make sure you click this reuse my password for privileged tasks. OK, so this is just going to show us a little bit about um, our CentOS machine, right? Our CentOS dash Samba, which we're going to use for our file share today. So we can click around and you know, see some stuff. The one, the biggest thing we want to do is click on this terminal. And one of the best purposes for this is that it will allow us to um, copy and paste information. 
So if you wanted to go into the lab and copy the text, and then you can paste it right in here. But uh, the first thing you want to do is install uh, Samba. So to do that, we do dnf-y install Samba. And this will go out to the internet and download the files and get them all ready for us. And away it goes, nice and clean. And when it's done, it'll just say complete, okay? So let's go to the top by typing clear. Now, one of the things we're going to need to do is create a group for our Samba users for this class. So let's do the group add, and we're gonna call this SMB lab um, six. This is lab six, okay? Um, actually, we'll do five since it's the sharing lab was last week as well. All right, press enter. Now we'll create our group there. So then the next thing we wanna do is make a directory to share. So let's do make dir slash home and we'll call it share. Okay, and then we want to change the group for that um, share to the SMB Lab 5 group. So we're going to change the group ownership with the change group command. And then we're going to change the owner, um, or not the owner, we're going to change the permissions on that with the change modification. And we're gonna give it the 770, which is full control for the owner, full control for the group, and then no control for everybody else. And I'm using tab completion here to make sure everything's right. So change mod 770 space home slash share. And then the last thing we wanna do is we want to go into our um, nano text editor and we want to open this Etsy Samba SMB.com file. Okay, now this file already exists. So I hit nano and slash Etsy Samba SMB.com. It's going to open up with the file here. Okay, there's a couple of things we want to do on this top area here. So I'm going to come down and these are tabs. So if you add anything, make sure you tab over. So the first thing I'm going to do is say that I'm going to use the Unix character set equal to UTF-8. Okay. Then I'm going to change this work group to the default Windows work group which is called work group. Before it was set to um, uh, Samba is the work group, but we're not gonna do that. So we're, we'll leave that there. Okay. And then the last thing I wanna do is come down to the bottom of the area, the bottom of this file. So if I go to the, the very bottom here, so here I'm, and I'm going to create a new share here. And this is where I'm gonna copy it right out of the lab. So hold on. And I'm just gonna paste it right here and allow it. And you'll see that that um, will get us partial of the way there. So I'm gonna, Delete this and it puts some line characters in here. I'm just going to put all of these in here. Oh. And if it starts with the uh, hashtag or the pound sign, that just means it's comment. And 
That's the end of the file. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, and that goes down to the end there. And okay, so now I have my file. So let's look at this. This is just saying that I'm going to create a new share called share. The path to it is on my home slash share folder. It's writable, which means that it has they have permission. There's no guest access. And the only users that can use it are the SMB Lab 5 group. And they're going to have the create mode of 777, which means they have full control. Force directory mode is 777. They have full control and they can inherit permissions there. So now to save this file, I can hit um, control X and then it says save modified buffer. I'm gonna hit yes and then enter. Okay. So then the next thing I wanna do is um, enable the Samba system. So if I do system control and enable now SMB and hit enter, this is going to read. Now, if you get an error right here, check your typing in the smb.com file. Make sure it looks exactly like it does in the um, system in the lab. Okay. So now I need to create a new user. So I'm going to do uh, user add lab five. And I'm not going to assign a local password, but I am going to um, do a Samba password. So to do that, I'm going to do the SMB password dash A, which means to append it, lab five. And here's where I'll put in our normal password, CNET 2021 exclamation point. And again, notice it does not echo right there. And the last thing I, I need to do is add this user, that lab five into the SMB lab five group. So I'm going to do the user mod and I'm going to do the group. So I'm telling it, use modify the user with the group of SMB Lab 5 and add Lab 5 to that SMB Lab 5 group. I hit enter. And that's all well and good. Now, um, we're going to modify the SE Linux. We haven't really talked about that at all. But the SE Linux is a sandbox security profile in Linux. So we're going to do um, this command sets SE bool dash p samba dash enable home ders and we're going to turn that on so we'll set that up and that takes just a second and then we're going to um restore the condition on this recursively for the home dash share directory Okay, so this just re-enables the permission that we just set on um, the SE Linux condition. So it's just gonna restore that. All right, and then the, the next thing we wanna do is just make sure that our firewall allows Samba. So we'll do the firewall dash command, add dash service, and then we can say equals Samba. And we're going to make that permanent. Enter. And then we're going to reload the firewall. And that should give us success. All right. So for right now, let's go back to our Windows 10, our CNET 58. Um, Windows 10 machine. And if I open a file explorer and I go to my IP address, 
29.72 and my server is 58, yours will be a different. And if I hit enter, it's gonna give us uh, security. So it's gonna say enter your credentials. So my credentials are lab five. See that 2021. And now you notice I have my home directory, which I have, a, everybody has a home directory that's theirs. So when we create a user, it establishes a directory. And then I have my Samba share. So what I want you to do is come into this machine. Um, and uh, connect to this. And you're going to create a new folder called Lab5. And then inside of that, I just want you to create a lab five text document. So just kind of the same proof of um, concept that we did last week with the, the window share. So week, um, last week we did the file share and we were able to do it that way. So this week we'll do the same thing basically with this. Now, um, you can also do this from your uh, lab your CNET 50 uh, or your, your Win 10. Um, so hold on, let me log out of here. I want to get over to my other server where I have my other client on. And if I come into my Win 10 dash client one, Power this on. Now, one thing I want to make sure is that this is on the VM network as well, not the internal. See how that's on the internal? I want it on the VM network. And then if I connect to this, and this is going to look a little bit different because we attached this to the domain last week. Okay, so you can test it from either your Windows um, host machine or you can come into your Windows client machine and test it. So when you click on your machine, it's probably gonna be on the domain. So what you wanna do is click on other user and then this, how do I sign up into another domain? Click on that. And it will show you, you type the domain name slash domain username. And this is, our domain name. So it's desktop GTV UF50 slash local user. So on this one, I'm going to put in CNET58 as my user. Because remember last week we did user one and user two, and then CNET, those are domain accounts. Now we don't have our domain controller running, so we don't want to use that account. We want to use our local account. So again, it's um, desktop dash GTV dash uh, user uh, 50. So let me come into this here. So I'm going to type desktop dash, and mine is GTV UF 50 slash CNET 58. And it tells me I'm logging into my local machine and then now yours is gonna be different yours will not be desktop dash gtv uf 50 yours will be some other one so make sure you use yours and i'm gonna log on and again this tells me i'm on my machine because i have a nice purple color here um maroon or whatever color that is and I'm open a new file explorer. And I'm going to go to slash slash 10.29.72.58 is my Samba server. Again, lab five. In the 2021. And now you can see I have full control here. So I can come in here and say, uh, 
assume that 58 was here, whatever I want to do. And notice I'll have write permissions. So do you want to save? I can hit save and it'll actually save it. If I had on read only, it would give me an error or it would say save. I can only do a save as. Right. So that's it for today's lab. It's fairly short, um, but it is a lot of Samba commands. So I wanted to make sure that um, I at least demoed this so that you can see what's going on there and get everything going. All right. And again, if you have any questions, be sure to um, ask me during the lab. I'll be on Zoom waiting for your questions. All right, take care and I'll talk to you later. Bye.